Hi, this is Miss Panelo. In this video, we will talk the beginner's guide in using Microsoft Word and specifically using it to create documents like reports, essays, handouts, flyers, things like that. Are you familiar with a typewriter? Did you know that a typewriter was the first processor invented that produced text to print? Have you experienced using one? In your generation, with advanced computers, typewriters are rarely used. You may ask your parents or grandparents on how a typewriter looks and how it works. What is word processing? Word processing is the process of modifying and checking the documents for any typographical errors, unnecessary paragraphs, misspelled words, or inconsistent formatting. To do this, you will need an application software called a word processor, which you can use to create a store documents, preview documents before printing, modify or edit saved documents, and print documents on paper. Here are some new features in Microsoft Word. First, you can add online pictures and videos. You can insert online videos where you can watch write in work without leaving while continuing to work on your document. Second is you can open and edit PDF. You can save and open portable document format PDF files, edit paragraphs, list and tables similar to the typical Word document, and then take the content and make it too great. And lastly, you can leave layout and alignment guides. While working on your document, you can give a live preview as you resize and move photos and shapes. These new alignment guides will make it easier to line up charts, photos, diagrams with your text. And so, I will go down here and click on Microsoft Word. If you don't have Word down here on the taskbar, you can click the Start menu and find the Microsoft Word. And it gives me right away a bunch of templates that I can choose from to help me get started creating documents. And now you can see that there's all sorts of great documents. They have trifold brochures, they have event menus, they have blog posts, all sorts of different templates that you can choose. Template can be a great time saver. You can just select one of these templates to open it up and then edit it and use it for your own purposes. Now there is so much to Word. Most people don't really use Microsoft Word to its full capabilities. But in this tutorial, I'm really going to focus on the basic, on those essentials that you need to know to start using Microsoft Word effectively. And so I will click here where it says blank document and it opens up the Microsoft Word layout and a blank document. Next, I will give you a quick tour of what you're seeing here in the layout. You'll notice that across the top, we have tabs. We have the Home tab, Insert tab, Design tab. And this is very similar to Microsoft Excel and Microsoft PowerPoint. Each of these tab, when you click on it, will give you a different ribbon and that's they call the ribbon and the ribbon changes based on the tab that you click. If I want to change something about the layout, click on layout and then look at the ribbon and see what you can do. Now, each ribbon is divided up into groups. So this is the page setup group, this is the paragraph group, and the arrange group. Now, what if I want to insert something, maybe a picture or a photo? I will go to the insert tab and click and I get the insert ribbon with lots and lots of different groups. Now, down here, I have the page of my document. This is my Word document and it's completely blank. And this time, a couple of things that I want you to know about before you get started making a document. First, I will change the zoom level to 100% that will be a little bit easier to fit on the screen. Now, in this tutorial, I am using Microsoft Word 2010 for Windows. But if you're using an old version of Microsoft Word, or even a future version of Microsoft Word, or Word for Mac, most of what I'm showing you is still applicable. 
Now, I am ready to start creating a wonderful document. And let's say this document is going to be a handout or a worksheet for my students. I can just go in and start creating. So, I'll just provide a space there for the name of the student, the class period, and I'm just typing and hitting return or enter on the keyboard. Now, I would like this to be the title of my document. Now, this is pretty typical, but what I would do here is highlight the text and immediately, I get a pop-up here with some options that I have. But, I can also go here to the Home tab, Home, Ribbon. That's where you'll find the most commonly needed options in the Microsoft Word. And so, look! There is center and that's what I was hoping for. I can also underline if I want. I can make it bold and there's all sort of options that you have there. I could make the text bigger or smaller. You can also use your keyboard. Just click Ctrl plus bracket. Now I hit enter or return. I can proceed to create this worksheet. I can type in instruction for my students and Microsoft Word handles most of the work. I'm just typing hitting enter. Moving down, I can type other instructions here below. Now, a few other essential things to know about Microsoft Word include how to insert pictures because that's really one of the powerful things about Microsoft Word. And you heard me say the keyword there, it's insert. So I click on insert and look at the options that I have. Four things to insert into these documents, all sort of things. But in this case, I'm going to go to the pictures and that automatically access my computer. And now I can browse my computer to find pictures that I can, then pull in and use in my document. Now, whenever you put a photo or an image into Microsoft Word, it brings up some difficulties. You need to resize the image. You go to the corner, any corner, click and drag to shrink that photo down to resize a little bit, and that's a lot better. Now, to format the image position, so you need to go to your ribbon. Page layout, then click wrap text. Now it's moving much more freely and I want you to know that you can insert online pictures and that is a great option. You can connect to the internet and do searches to find images, find clip arts and things that are on the web and then just click and drag to drop into your project. So that's really nice option to have. Now before you move away from the photo and move on to other topics, I want you to notice this format tab that I mentioned earlier. When you click on a photo and then the format tab, it gives you some options to do some things that are really nice. You can remove the background, you can alter the color seam in lots of ways, you can do some correction, and there's some artistic effects. And so there's some pretty exciting things you could come up with. These photo effects are really pretty nice. You can compress the pictures as well and do some other exciting things. There's also picture style. You'd like to put frame or 3D with some of these 3D effects. Try to explore your Microsoft Word. You can also insert shapes here that are useful and add text box. Basically, a text box is additional text that can float on top of your document. So I go with simple text box and I'll type in a wonderful message here and then click away. This text box now can be dragged whenever I want it to go. Now it is interacting with the text, similarly how I did to this photo. Here in the review tab, a few other basics that you need to know about whenever you're writing a paper or a report or even a report like this. It's important to get the spelling right and you can see here on the review tab. You can click the spelling and grammar and it will check your spelling mistakes. Spelling and grammar in Word is great and it's really one of the basic essentials that you need to know if you're using Microsoft Word. There's also some great options like word counts. If you're a student and the teacher has said, I want you to create a 2,000 words essay or report, you can just click to get a word count and I'll tell you how many characters, how many words, how many pages, etc. There's also a wonderful thesaurus to help you use a variety of words instead of using the same word over and over again. That's very helpful. 
So let's say you're done with your document. You can go in and say, I want to double space. So now when I do line spacing, set it at 2. Now my paragraph has double space text. Now for that to really be effective, you need to click and drag to highlight the text that you want to effect. I also want you to notice that you have font color options and all sorts of typical options that you've probably very accustomed to all sorts of tools. And on the internet, there are different fonts to choose from here as well. If you're a student and you're finishing an assignment, how do you go from there? Well, one of the first thing that you need to do is to consider if you have a right line spacing and things like that especially the student maybe the teacher has said i want you to double space your paper how do you do that well here's one of the home tab home ribbon you can go to the paragraph group and look right this in the line and paragraph spacing options okay so i'm happy with this now to finish this off i just go to file and i have a bunch of different options first i really should save this and i can click save and I can save it just to my PC and I could save it directly, let's say, to the desktop or to my documents. You have also other options to save as Word, as PDF, and so on. I can also print it now that I've saved. Before you begin creating a promising type of a document, you need to explore and understand how to work with the Word 2010 interface by practicing the following. basics that you need to know all the essentials that you need to know to start the microsoft word microsoft word is very powerful you can use it to make all sort of things and what i've given you here today is just a basics to help you get started and i hope you learned something out of this video thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and always remember, let us become a better person than yesterday. Mabuhay!